today we are talking all about Father's Day. First, I'm gonna show you the gift that I am giving to Brian, and then we are going to be joined with Layla Jane, and we are going to be making two super simple, fun, affordable DIY Father's Day gifts. So stay tuned for some great Father's Day ideas. Thank you Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. Father's Day is right around the corner and I wanted to get something, Brian, that was meaningful, but also that had a purpose to it. We live in a very safe community. It's always voted one of the safest in our area. However, just like any community lately, I've been noticing that there's been a lot of car break-ins, there's been some home burglaries, and that just makes me nervous. And in our new house, we we have no home security system. For Father's Day, I am so excited that I get to gift him a Simply Safe home security system. Now, a little selfishly, this is a gift not only for him, but for the entire family. I feel like, especially as parents with a newborn on the way too, I want to have that extra sense of security so I can just focus on being the best mom, he can focus on being the best dad, and we can feel protected in our own home. So I think he is going to love this. This security system definitely lives up to its name. It is so simple to set up and put together. I never thought I would be able to put together a home security system, but I installed everything in about 15 minutes yesterday. It was awesome. And there's no middleman. I didn't have to call anyone out to come do it for me. And it came with everything you could possibly need. The main thing is the base station. That's kind of like the hub. And it'll talk to you. It'll tell you or make a noise if like the door is open or a window opens that you might have a sensor on. And I have that set up right in our kitchen because then it's kind of in the middle of the house where everyone always is. And it just looks pretty too. It kind of looks like a decorative piece. And as I mentioned, it is so easy to set up. There's actually an app for it, or you could set up all the different components using a keypad that it comes with. I actually set up most of it just right on my app, and it was so simple, and everything's programmed in so I can control it with my app, with the keypad, or even a little key fob too. So let's talk about some of the things that it came with. It came with some door sensors, which are awesome. So every time a door that I put the sensor on opens or closes, the base station makes a noise. So I'm always aware when the door's opening or closing, which I love because Layla Jane has figured out how to unlock the front door and open it. And I'm always just so afraid the front gate might be open and she'll just wander out. And especially having a newborn that's gonna be crawling soon. If Layla left the door open, I wanna be able to know that it's open. So I love that that alerts me whenever a door is opened, that I have that sensor on and I have it on all of our doors, even the sliding glass doors. Cool thing too is you can also put them on windows. So you'll be alerted if a window is open. This also came with a motion sensor that I put in the middle of our dining room. So it'll span our kitchen, our living room, our stairwell, it'll show everything. So we'll be alerted if there's any motion going on in our house while we are away. Another cool thing is they have glass break sensors that will go off when it detects the specific frequency of glass breaking. So if somebody decided to try to break our window or get in or throw something through our window, that detector will go off. This even came with a panic button that will trigger an alarm if you hold it down for two seconds. I decided to put this right next to my bed upstairs. So if something were to happen, like in the middle of the night, I can reach over and press that and an alarm will be triggered. This also came with a smoke detector, which we ended up putting in Layla's room because her old smoke detector actually stopped working. So we are so happy to get a new one and have that up there for some more peace of mind. It also came with a temperature sensor that you can put right next to your thermostat and it'll alert you if your temperature in the house drops below a certain temperature or raises above a certain temperature, and you can set whatever you want those temperatures to be. We also got a water sensor that'll detect if there's any leaks. You could put it in like your water heater basin, under a sink, anywhere near plumbing. I actually put ours underneath our kitchen faucet because when we first moved in, we thought we had a leak, and I know a lot of the pipes in our neighborhood, they're all kind of starting 
to go out now at the same time. And so I wanted to put one under there. So just in case there was a leak or something's going to happen, we will be alerted about it. We also have a video doorbell pro that was super easy to install. And anytime there's motion detected, the video will come on. So you can see who's at your door, who might be dropping off a package, if somebody's stealing a package, and it has two way talk. So I can talk to the person that might be at our door. So that is super helpful and makes me feel very secure that I can kind of monitor our front door and who's coming and going into our house. I think my favorite part of this though is the indoor camera. I have this set up, shows our whole living room. I love it because if I'm away and like Layla Jane's at home, if she's with a sitter, or just if no one's at home, I can always be checking in on our house and our downstairs. I can open up the app, look at live footage and watch and see what's happening, what's going on. That just makes me feel so comfortable. But as I mentioned, whether or not someone's home or if Layla's with a babysitter, I can just kind of make sure everything's going okay and be checking in on everything. So that is definitely my favorite part. And it's super easy to take it and move it if you wanna move it to a different area of your house. Um, but I like having it showing the whole downstairs because that's where most of the time people are or if someone's coming in, that's where they'll start off. As I mentioned, there are a few different ways to control this system. One is you can use it from your app. You can turn it off or on or say that you're home. You can do it with the keypad. You can turn it on and then it gives you a specific amount of time that you can also adjust to get out of the house before everything starts becoming turned on and starts monitoring. Or you could do it with a key fob, which is pretty cool too. So say you're away from the house and you have your alarm on, but you know like a neighbor needs to come in or someone is coming in and you need to let them into the house. You can turn your system off and they can come in and they won't trigger the alarm. Or if you're just left and you forgot to turn the alarm on, you can turn it on with that. So really cool that you have three different ways to keep your system going. Now you can use this system on its own or for super inexpensive, you can have it professionally monitored. So in the case of an emergency, something goes off, you will be contacted by these professional monitors who will make sure everything's okay. That will ask for your pin or your passcode. If something's not okay, they'll send help right away. And it's super affordable. It's month to month, no contract. You can cancel any time, which makes it, I think that's great. Nobody wants to be tied into a contract. So that's a great option to have too. You can save 20% on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and you'll get your first month free. All you have to do is go to the URL in the description below, which is simplysafe.com forward slash hey mamas. Now we are moving on to the DIY portion of our Father's Day gifts. So we're actually making one gift for dad and then one gift for grandpa too. So the first thing we're gonna do is make homemade coasters, <laughs> picture photo coasters, using a cute photo that I have of Brian and Layla Jane. And then next we're gonna be making a picture pencil holder that can go in an office and we're gonna be making that for grandpa. First off though, for the photo coaster, you need to have some Mod Podge or some type of acrylic sealer. I just got mine at Target. You need a picture, some scissors, and then like a tile or wooden coaster. Mine is roughly four by four. And I just picked it up at Michael's for it. Super inexpensive. So Layla, first I'm gonna use the scissors and I need to cut this photo so it fits perfectly, oops, onto our coaster. Layla, do you like that photo? Do you remember where that was? Laguna. In that Laguna Beach, not too long ago, we did a family trip up to Santa Monica and we went to the Santa Monica Pier, we did the Ferris wheel. We had so much fun and this is a picture of her and daddy on the Ferris wheel. Perfect. It's right on there. Well, I've lost Layla Jane. It's a little too much fun when grandma's here. So I will show you all how to do the rest of this one and hopefully she'll join in on, on me later. So now that I got the picture in the coaster, I'm going to put some Mod Podge on the back of the picture and press it on to the coaster. Now you're just gonna put a layer of Mod Podge directly onto the photo. And don't worry, it dries clear. Also put some Mod Podge around the sides and the edges just to make sure it's good and sealed. 
Now I'm going to let this completely dry and then I'm gonna do another coat, let it dry, and then probably do another one. So I'm probably gonna do three coats of Mod Podge on here. All right, three coats done. You can see it dries clear and it makes it so nice and glossy and pretty. I love it. Again, I was just using this Mod Podge gloss, which I think was a really good choice for it. Now I'm gonna take it outside and do three coats of this acrylic sealer. And this will help it so if water spills on it, because you know he's gonna put drinks on here, coffee, it'll protect it so it won't get ruined. And you're gonna wanna do about three coats of this on here too, so let it dry in between each coat. The coaster is completely dry, so now I just got these little felt pieces from Target that I'm gonna put on the bottom, just so it's a little bit more stable and doesn't scratch his desk or anything. You could also just use regular felt too. I know I have some felt in Layla's crafts section that I could have cut and glued on, but this just sticks on, so I thought it'd be simple. And done. Look how cute this turned out. And I have a bunch more pictures, so I actually am gonna make a bunch more of these so he can have a few different coasters around the house. This was so simple to make and so affordable too. So let me know if you try this one. The next one we are going to make is, as I mentioned earlier, the tin can pencil holder. I just had an extra can and I saved it after we used what was inside. And I had Layla Jane earlier this morning put a coat of paint on it. And of course she chose blue, that's her favorite color. And now I'm going to go and print off a picture. And I think these are easier to do if you print off the picture on paper, cause it's a lot easier to get it to mold to the shape of the can rather than using an actual picture. So I found a cute picture of Layla and her grandpa and printed that off. And now we're ready to move on to the next step. Okay, Layla, I want to get some of your input on these presents. Oh, oh, yeah. Which picture it's do you like crazy. better of you and Grandpa? Both. Both? Well, if you had to pick one, which would you pick? Both. All right, so Mommy has to choose. Okay, well, I guess I'm choosing the picture too. So I'm just going to cut it out and I'm gonna cut it out kind of roughly, not like perfect um, using a scissors and making it all perfect. I kind of want that rough look on it. Once again, I'm gonna use Mod Podge to glue this picture onto the tin can. let this dry before we move on to the next step. I finally got my helper back for the last part. So now what we're gonna do is I just got some little sponges and cut them up. Oh, hi, yep. And I got a different shade of blue and we're just gonna kind of sponge that all around and right around the edge of the picture too, just to make it look like it kind of flows a little bit more I and is more a part of it. I think both of these turned out adorable. I am gonna go and spray one coat of that sealer on here just to really protect it and kind of give it a glossy look. But what fun, simple DIY Father's Day gifts you can make with your kids for their dad. I think these were so fun to do. And I wanna say thank you again to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to go in the link description below to get 20% off your Simply Safe security system. Please make sure and let me know if you do any of these fun crafts for your dad and for your husband on Father's Day. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye.